Hello everyone, my name is Sergei Novohatsky. I'm a managing director of a um, small startup in Krasnoyarsk territory. We um, operate uh, in the Krasnoyarsk region. We do both uh, gold mining and exploration. First of all, many thanks for the mining organizers for this brilliant opportunity to speak out. Uh, secondly, want to say excuses for any probable professional mistranslations that could occur. But anyway, I would be happy to um, answer all your questions, queries, in case there'll be some. Okay, uh, the main plan of presentation is uh, to make a brief um, overview of um, gold mining and exploration in Krasnoyarsk territory, and I will put an example of our small startup um, that um, operate in there. Um, in many cases, uh, small companies, uh, they're quite sensitive to the state policy and the le legislation uh, amendments in terms of uh, environmental management. And in many cases, they go bankrupt unless they are analyzed there. There is the <clears throat> proper need for gold exploration, which is in turn based on proper uh, investment policy. Our company uh, has been, has, was set from, no, from zero, from scratch, and we have gone through all obstacles and barriers that are to be faced by new startups. And um, frankly speaking, we have spent two years of making mistakes, and then we have spent two extra years of uh, making those mistakes to be corrected. And finally, when we realized uh, the view, then we <coughs> realized that our first deposit has been over. So what, what to do next? And next we uh, think that uh, we should move for gold exploration. But um, first of all, uh, gold production is in Russia has finally reached 300 tons, uh, not only in terms of mining, but in terms of old ore gold processing and in 2017. And um, uh, Placer Gold has been constantly decreasing, the share of Placer Gold, uh, Placer Gold mining has been constantly decreasing. And uh, mainly the um, Placer Gold deposits uh, has been worked, developed already. The same goes for Krasnoyarsk territory. This is uh, 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 Krasnoyarsk territory is about 20% share of gold mining within Russia, and the share of placer gold also decreasing. So, th what about the te territory itself? It's right in the middle of Russia, and it is the second biggest territory uh, within the Russian Federation. It's around 2.8 million square kilometers, while the population is only 3 million. And um, most, uh, there are a lot of gold resources, and it is estimated that there are around 20% of old gold deposits within the Krasnoyarsk territory. And most of them uh, is situated in the Yenisei Ridge. It's, um, Right in the middle, where is it for the, why is that? Uh, just in the middle. Yeah, yeah it's uh, just to point you. Here's the Yenisei Ridge, which is big territory. It's uh, around 300 kilometers uh, in, in, in length and uh, 30 to 40 kilometers in width. It makes around 12,000 square kilometers of the area, which is potentially um, full of, you know, gold deposits. And if you see of this picture of the, um, uh, some uh, raw material deposits of Russia, the Yenisei Ridge plays <coughs> the key role because most of the huge uh, rock uh, gold deposits are concentrated in there. Here's the Yenisei Ridge. You have some pictures 
to entertain, entertain you in the end of this uh, day. And you can see the Yenisei itself. This picture is taken by myself. I was picking up my uh, exploration team two days ago by helicopter. So this picture is, is taken by me. Here's the Yenisei, and you can see the Yenisei Ridge over here. Some more pictures. So let us see it in more details. Historically, there are two big areas of the Yenisei Ridge. It's the northern part and the southern part of the Yenisei Ridge. Here's the table of some big um, rock gold deposits uh, within the Yenisei Ridge, among them uh, Olympiadinsky, owned by, uh, uh, owned, run, run by Polus Gold. And um, northern Yenisei region, is, uh, there, are, uh, there are four sub-areas. They are called Sovetsky, Olympiadinsky, Eldoradinsky, and um, the fourth, Veduga. And the southern part, which is smaller. The, the red and yellow uh, uh, ticks here are the, for, for the ore gold deposits. And our licenses by our companies, they are situated in the southern part. Here we mine uh, place a gold. And in northern part, we have an exploration license for the area around 150 kilometers. So our first license was a place of gold mining. Uh, the technology there is pretty simple. We use a uh, water pressure jet. And the gold, <clears throat> place of gold deposit was around 170 five kilos so uh, that was a good we, we have worked there for four years and was good experience uh, and finally we managed to go to 50 kilo annual production and now we have developed this area and now we're exploring the neighboring areas and they turned out to be quite interesting so this is the our area, and the pink area, that the area that we explored already by ourselves, and the area on the top, and the area, oops, and the area on the top is the area where we found some grid stones and conglomerate samples. They are quite interesting because one of after you know crashing them and washing them, we found some very interesting golden particles and one brilliant gridstone contained as many as 32 uh, <coughs> particles of one millimeter in width. <coughs> and the second interesting place, we've got two licenses over here for exploration. Uh, so we started